Okay, so now the telepathic voice in Danish is telling me uh, we are atheists, we don't believe in what God is telling us and I'm not pretending to be God by the way, I'm not doing telepathy to him but God has told them they will go to hell and they maybe got their way and got to domineer me and, and uh, control me but in the spiritual realm they will go to hell, God said uh, to them and to me telepathically but then he, the Mongol, uh, says uh, I did it purposely, I, he says to me, I did it purposely in Danish and he's apparently from Israel or from Chernobyl but he's saying, and he thinks he's a Muslim and he's pretending to be a Muslim, an evil Muslim or something uh, but he says, I did it purposely, I didn't want you to be around the hotel room uh, he thinks that I myself is very evil but he hasn't got anything to prove that I'm evil but he believes that me doing sperm donation is uh, evil uh, and me being a sperm donor is evil and he doesn't like my crystals either so now he tells me he doesn't want it to be recorded in Danish but he himself believes that because he's atheist then God's will won't have his way with him but he said he told me <clears throat> now you lost a lot of money you got thrown out of the hotel so i got my way with you and then he believes that i'm the weaker one in our relationship or he's telling me that i'm the stupid one that did badly and is a bad person so he believes he's the one who's right in this case so now he says telepathic to me he doesn't want to talk anymore but then after when i stop recording then he'll start talking again It's just what he wanted to do with myself, but he has regretted it. But he sounds a bit ironic when he says he regretted it, but he does maybe regret it. Because he's not alive in the spiritual realm. So God really sent him to hell for attacking me while I was trying to sleep. Which I can't prove in any way. I don't know what happened and it doesn't really interest me because though that group that I filmed doesn't interest me really. They're just making noises to harass me. So that's why I filmed them. Uh, so I don't get harassed uh, and when I film them they stop talking uh, physically but they start talking telepathically and then they think they get away with it but then now when I film it myself and talk about what they do to with telepathy uh, they get uh, a bit nervous about what's gonna happen to them and what people are gonna uh, think about myself in these situations Now he thinks I look like a soldier now. He just told me, oh, look, cool. I just looked at what you look like in the camera. And then he says, you look like a soldier or something. That's what he's saying now telepathically. So I expect that they maybe threw away my stuff in the hotel and my sperm and my crystals uh, and my luck and my clothing. And I'll survive it. But God told me that if they did so, they'll go to hell for it. And the telepathic voice of God, I'm not the one making it up. He's, that's telepathy I'm hearing. And me, myself, believe God exists because... Uh, uh, because people have talked about the effects of praying to God and, uh, uh, and the creation of the world and so on. And I believe in evolution theory and, and God believes in evolution theory. So uh, he exists, there's an there's a identity or something called God on this planet, it exists and, he's, and the person has a Chinese accent and I actually don't know if, he, if he's real but uh, some of the stuff he says is real and uh, that monkey he found of me in Twitter where I said that's me from 10,000 years ago I found uh, interesting and it uh, wasn't badly made so uh, it's all good. Uh, I could see the monkey looked a bit like myself and then he says that's your ancestry and it's not what I believe, it's what he says is reality. So he wasn't being mean with me about it. And now there's a person from the military who will maybe get angry at me filming, not really.
but I'll keep on filming so I can hear their voices and maybe he will arrest me because they said I would get arrested but I don't think I will get arrested but we will see I hope not when us No, he didn't arrest me and wasn't evil with me at all. He actually uh, said hello in a nice day, in a nice way. So that wasn't uncomfortable. But they do wear this uh, thing on their shoulder that looks like Nazi Germany. And I don't believe he's a Nazi, but it looks like a, like a Nazi Germany when he's wearing uh, the thing around his shoulder, which you couldn't really see. But it looks like those uh, Nazi swastikas, red swastikas that they were wearing, but it's a different logo. Uh, and I don't know if there's secret Nazis uh, that make them dress that way here in Spain, but I hope not. And I don't like Nazism. And here's some more people from the military, and they are also not here to uh, arrest me. But they are, it says PM on, on the sign, and they are not uh, harassing me either. There you can see them in the background. They were not evil or mean with me in any way. So uh, it's all good. I believe that at the hotel, maybe they'll call the police on me. If they tell me to walk out of the hotel, those that are in the reception, even though they're maybe not really in the reception, I will walk out of the hotel, take my stuff, walk out. They wronged me and uh, they will see what happens for wronging me. I won't personally do anything towards them other than film what happens in my life. And uh, I won't attack them in spirituality. Uh, but God himself says they will go to hell for attacking me. So uh, in an evil way when I haven't attacked them. So and then uh, they attacked me on my sperm and that I was being a sperm donor. And they were talking about how the children that are from sperm donation don't talk to me. And uh, in the sperm donation it says that it's first when the child is 18 that is actually being told about the information of the, of the real father. And it's first when the child, and it's only if the child wants to take contact to the real father, that they have to, uh, that the child takes contact, and it's not the other way around. And they're trying to sort of like make me take contact or something, but that's how I've been told about it. And uh, I think they're being really evil and mean with me. They're also saying I'm a pig for being a sperm donor or wanting to be a sperm donor. And uh, I truly believe that I'm a human being here on this planet and I'm not a pig and I won't turn into a pig either I've been told with celebrity from God that I won't be turned into a pig but I will go to heaven uh, and I won't uh, become a pig or a mutant or something uh, like the, those smugglers are trying to tell me that I will become because I do sperm donation so they're being evil and mean with me about sperm donation and urine therapy and right now I will real soon be at Canton, but they maybe put all my stuff out on the street. No, they didn't do so. But now I'm gonna upload this movie and then I'm gonna go there and film uh, what happens.